In this video, I'm going to tell you how to avoid having the grove closed off with vines and not being able to get back in. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We'll give you the secrets to crush Baldur's Gate 3. So there's a lot of myths about the closing of the grove by the druids. They're doing this ritual that's going to enclose it in vines and toxins and it'll be impossible to get in or out. And one of the big myths is that you... If you rest, that is, you go to camp and long rest or maybe even partial rest, and maybe even some people think short rest, too many times the grove is going to close because the ritual is going to complete. But that's not true. The ritual will only complete if you do two things, and it has nothing to do with the time you spend in Act 1, but it does depend on whether you go to the Mountain Pass region or whether you go to... Act 2 via the Grim Forge. So I've tested it uh, both ways, uh, and let me tell you, it, the game ends a lot earlier if you go through the Mountain Pass, uh, or the, the Grove closes a lot earlier if you go through the Mountain Pass. Oh yeah, there's like two entrances to the Mountain Pass. Uh, there's one uh, by the Gift Patrol up in the northwest portion. I think there's another one on the other side of the Goblin Camp on the uh, just west and if you do that then you're going to trigger a whole ton of cutscenes, and they're also going to force you to go to camp and and rest but it has nothing to do with the rest it has everything to do with you going to the mountain pass right so once you go to the mountain pass which is actually in act one which is a little weird that going to the mountain pass triggers this uh but the grove will close if you have not done one of several things right so if you have not convince Kaga to stop the ritual. If, you, if she, you've convinced her to stop the ritual, then it will never close. Uh, if you kill Kaga, it will never close. Now, you may get cut off from going to the Act 1 region, but the grove itself will never close with vines. If you uh, defeat the goblin leaders... Right, all three goblin leaders defeat the goblin camp, or if you win the battle of the Emerald Grove, or lose the battle of the Emerald Grove, that is, you lead the goblins to the Emerald Grove, the Emerald Grove will never close. Right, so either you've resolved the goblin situation that you've either attacked them, or you've resolved the Kaga situation that you've either convinced her not to, uh, you've confronted her with the information about the Shadow Druids, uh, and you've got in those notes and been able to prove that to her. And he won the rolls and got her to not uh, do the ritual. Or you've killed Kaga, got her to not do the ritual. She's the assistant druid leader or the interim druid leader. Then the grove will never close. So there's another way that you can cause the grove to close, though. So I said the mountain pass, but the second way is to go through the elevator in the Grim Forge, right? So going to the Underdark region does not close the grove. So we, so I quickly tried to go to the Underdark to see if I could cr close the grove uh, by going to the well in the Blighted Village and then jumping into the chasm by the Matriarch Spider. And kind of limped into the limped into the Mykonid colony with like eight health on one character. But then I'm in the Underdark. And then uh, because for some reason Featherfall didn't work for two characters, etc. And then uh, went back to the Grove. Grove was not closed. So just going to the Underdark is not sufficient. Also, just going to the Grim Forge is not sufficient to close the Grove, right? So you can go all around, do everything in the Grim Forge. As long as you don't go up the elevator, the Grove will still be open, even if you didn't resolve the Kaga or Goblin situation. So the, the thing that closes the Grove is not resolving the Kaga situation or that letting Kaga continue with the ritual or not killing the goblins or not leading the goblins into the grove will cause the grove to close if you go up the Grim Forge elevator. And if you do that, then you're going to get a bunch of cutscenes just for the mountain pass and for the Grim Forge elevator. You're going to get a ton of cutscenes. You're going to get one that shows you the three baddies in Acts 2 and 3. You're going to get one at least that's going to show you uh, your dream visitor, and and she's gonna, she or he's gonna talk to you. And you know, for me, I was also getting Raphael because I'd 
cheesed Raphael for 1400 XP. See my video on that. And all this is like they force you to long rest. So I think that's part of the myth uh, of long resting, why it matters. is it's, But it, it doesn't matter. The number of times you long rest doesn't matter. They're just going to force you to long rest if you go through the mountain pass or if you go up the Grim Forge elevator. All right, so I want to thank uh, No Jake for showing me this uh so play act one with no reservations use your long rest short rests partial rests as much as you want the only thing that you need to worry about is advancing into act two or advancing into the mountain pass and that's the only thing that's going to close the grove otherwise you can ignore the kaga storyline you can ignore the goblin storyline in act one until you're ready just don't go into the Grim Forge elevator or the mountain pass and you get pop-ups and then you then you will not risk having the grove closed off with vines. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets uh, to crush Baldur's Gate 3. I want to thank No Jake for showing me this. A link to his videos in the description as are links to the videos mentioned in this description.